what's up you guys it's Emily so today I'm here and I am going to do a February favorites so I know I don't do a lot of beauty stuff on my channel and it's not that I'm opposed to it I just want to wait until I get a better quality camera for you guys and maybe get like a ring light like right now I'm filming on some lamps and <laughs> I, I want to make it like a quality I don't want to be um ashamed of the of the content that I'm putting out and I feel like these kind of videos I could get away with just having an iPhone but I want to have better quality when I make videos like makeup tutorials stuff like that for you guys um as long as you guys want to see it and as long as you guys know I'm not going to come out all Jaclyn Hill but yeah so I guess that's enough rambling about me being a beauty guru but yeah so I hope you guys like this video and if you want to find out what my February favorites are then just keep on watching okay so I have a little bit of everything so I'm gonna kind of break it down into categories so the first thing will be like beauty things that I've been loving this uh, month so the first thing is the pore professional primer it's an oldie but a goodie I've been loving this since it came out I saw Nicole Guerrero um, review it and she said she had large pores I had large pores I bought it I splurged um, even though it is a little expensive and yeah I recently started using another primer it was the Maybelline master prime maybe it was like the green one that was supposed to like blur redness and I didn't really I mean I don't know it didn't really work for me it could work for you but for me personally, it didn't work. But yeah, so my friend Cecily actually gave me this for Christmas. It's the jumbo size, so I'll be set for a while. And yeah, I'm really excited to be back to using it because it's something that I've been loving for a long time. Okay, on the topic of my friend Cecily, I guess I will show you the other thing I've been loving this February. And it is the Lorac Pro um, Mega 3 palette. And I just, okay. I am one of those people who like both glittery and matte eyeshadows. I've always been like this. So this palette is perfect. It um the top two rows have really nice matte shades, while the bottom two rows have really really pigmented, nice shimmery shades. And yeah, so I've been loving it. I've been using it a lot this month. And it's what I have on my eyes right now. You could create so many different looks with this. So it's everything you'd expect from Lorac. So I'm really, really, really happy with it. Next up, I'm going to be talking about two ColourPop lipsticks. And my friend Krista actually bought these for me for Christmas as well. I know I'm like using a lot of stuff I got for Christmas, but I do this thing where I kind of just put them away and then I use them later throughout the year. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's just how I am. But yeah, so my friend Krista got me two ColourPop lipsticks, um, the ones that dry matte, and I've always wanted to try them, but the only problem is you have to order them offline, and I hate ordering stuff offline. I know that's probably the most ungirly thing I could say, but yeah, I just don't like waiting for it, and then just if it gets lost in the mail, just all that stuff, but so she got me the color Beeper and Trap, and they look really, really nice on. Um, Trap kind of reminds me of MAC Stone a little bit, if you've ever seen MAC Stone or tried it or the lip liner. Um, it's a really, really pretty shade, and I've been loving these as well. So to continue on in beauty, I have the Batiste Insta Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo. And this is so ratchet because I could not tell you <laughs> where the lid is, but it's almost out anyways. Um, oh my god, I love this stuff. It's in the tropical scent and it's not really overpowering and it's super nice, super fresh smelling. I use this because I have really oily hair and I've been trying to train my hair to like I don't know if this is a myth if you know anything about this please feel free to let me know if I have my facts totally wrong um if you train your hair supposedly the less you wash it the less it'll become greasy it'll just adapt but I that does not mean I don't take a shower every day I take a shower every day but I only wash my hair about two times a week um 
So yeah, this really helps out a lot because my hair tends to get greasy literally the day after I wash it. And not only that, but I have really, really, really thick hair, but it's really flat on top, which makes no sense. So this is really nice to have because it gives you a little bit of a boost in your roots. And yeah, so been loving this. Really recommend it. I know it's literally everywhere. This product blew up and I can see why. So another thing that I've been loving this February that I actually don't have with me, I'm so sad I don't have it, is the Ardell Glamour Lashes um, in number 106. And the reason I found these lashes was because of Andrea Russett. Andrea Russett posted a makeup tutorial and said that she had used these. And I was in love with the way her eyelashes turned out. So I went to Ulta, and that's where I found them, by the way. And I looked, and I saw them, and I was like, wow, that does not look like how they looked on her. Those look crazy. But I bought them anyways with Faith and Andrea Russett, and they have quickly become my favorite lashes. They're pretty well-priced, so if you're looking... For some new ones, I would definitely hit those ones up because they're bomb. Okay, next up, I have this peach candle. It's in the scent Peach Bellini. It's from Bath & Body Works. Oh my god, you guys. I'm not even like... Oh my god. I'm not really even into fruity scents, if we're being honest. I like fresh smells or musky smells, like manly smells almost. But this is a huge, huge, huge exception. I love this so, so much. And I've been burning it in my room the past couple nights. And it's just such a fresh, like, fruity smell. And I honestly cannot say enough good things about it. I have always loved Bath & Body Works candles. And yeah, so this is just another one to add to the collection. So the last thing I have in beauty, and I wasn't even sure if I was going to add this because I don't feel like it's really that exciting of a product. I'm not one to obsess over body gels, but this smells so good. It says, Hello Beautiful Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel. And it's from Bath & Body Works. And I didn't even pick this out. I just one day was in the shower and I noticed it and I was like, oh, okay. And when I used it, Oh my god, it is such a fresh, it's not too overpowering. I know a lot of the body gels can be overpowering, but this just leaves you smelling so really like delightful, honestly. That's such a weird word to use, but yeah, I've been loving this so, so much. Um, I really hope one of you guys tries this or one of you guys have tried this and you can, you know, share the love with me, but yeah. So next up, I'm going to have an outfit favorite. Um, I only have one, and it is these shoes. They're the Adidas Superstars. Sorry if they're kind of um, dingy looking. I've been wearing them a lot in February. But oh my gosh, you guys. I have been wanting these since last Christmas. And I wanted a lot of other things last Christmas, and it was kind of on the back of the list. So my parents didn't end up getting them for me. And then I asked for them again this year, and they're like, oh, you asked for that last year. So yeah, yeah. So I ended up getting them for me. I, <laughs> I swear to God, I've worn them like 80% of this February. They're so cute. They have the little gold, um, if you can see that, little gold um, tongue and they are so cute. I wear these with so many different things. I wear them with leggings. I wear them with jeans. I'm so in love with them. They've actually maintained really well, which I'm really surprised. I walked all through DC with them and I came home and I've been walking in them on campus and they were really able to maintain their form so shout out Adidas, shout out my parents for buying me these. I love them so much. Okay so next is also a Christmas gift I got from my dad. Um, my dad always gets me the electronic things and my mom gets me more like the clothes things, you know how that works but my dad got me these Sony Bass Boost um, wireless headphones. I'm obsessed. I really am. I listen to music all the time. I have the biggest passion for finding new music and I could sit up here and listen to it all day and these are just amazing because I always really want loud music. I know that's not good for your ears but I love it when it's like super super loud and I just could just get lost in it and I had 
I had like the headphones, you know, that you get with your iPhone, but I would always snag them. And like, if I was listening to music, either I would like rip the jack out or something like that. So these are super nice because you don't have to worry about anything snagging, anything catching. So this is the name of the headphones, I suppose. Bear with me, it's pretty long. Um, it's a Sony Bass Boost MDR XB 950BT. So if you got all that and you're interested in a really nice set of headphones, I would highly recommend. My dad's a DJ, so he knows a lot about this stuff. And I originally kind of wanted the Dre Beats, and he was like, no, 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 don't get those, don't get those. Um, let me get you something better. And I'm so thankful for these. These are the most amazing gift. So. so going along with music, I'll give you guys my music favorite for the month. I've been listening to this song nonstop since it came out. And that is Coming Out Strong by The Weeknd and Future. You guys, I'm in love with that type of music. If any of you guys are and you know any good songs that are like from that genre, let me know because I'm always on the lookout for some new music and that song hits home. It is the perfect tempo, the perfect beat. I love both the artists. Yeah, so that's that's my number one song this month. And lastly, I bet you I bet you weren't expecting me to pull out <laughs> A bottle of creamer but here it is um so I've been drinking a lot of coffee lately because it's super cold where I am and I just like to wake up with some coffee and I've been using like the same creamer it's not like sweetened or anything it's just creamer it's got kind of boring so I want to switch it up a little bit and my friend Krista a while ago I was over her house and she had the best creamer so I went out and bought it. It's uh, International Delight French Vanilla. And if you're just looking for something to like spice up your coffee, if you're bored of usual creamer, I would definitely give this a go because just, I don't know, it's not overwhelming and nice to try new things. So that is it for my February favorite. I really hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you like any of the same things that I had or if you wanted to try any of the things I had or if I influence you to try them. I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!